Hey, this is Emily and I just wanted to share something with you today that is probably actually going to be really controversial. Um, what I'm about to show you is probably going to make a lot of people mad and say that I'm sacrilegious and blasphemous and um, a lot of people are also going to be really excited and um, encouraged by what I have to show you. Um, it involves a Bible, this Bible. See, um, I'm going to tell you why I use this specific Bible. First of all, it has my full name on it, so I can't give it away because, I mean, obviously I can't hand it to someone on the street when it's got my actual name on it. Um, if you can see, it is the New King James Version, not a version that I enjoy using. I enjoy the NIV version or the TNIV version. I like versions that I can understand better and really apply to my life and just be able to read it and understand plainly what it's trying to say. And I know a lot of people love the King James and New King James, but I, it's just personally not for me. Um, and finally, and I don't mean to sound like I'm complaining, but look how small the words of this Bible are so cramped together and also um it's really old I got it when I was 10 and it's been on my shelf for a long time pretty much unused and so those are some reasons why I use this bible what I did to this poor bible is I cut out every single verse that has to do with poverty with God helping the poor the poor crying out to God with God telling us to help the poor nobody helping the poor anything that involves poverty I cut out of the Bible and um, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the reason I did this was not because I don't believe in helping the poor it's not because I was angry at God the reason I cut this out was to see for myself how much less the Bible would be without these important verses and how much emphasis God puts in the Bible about the importance of helping the needy and also so I could have something tangible and physical if someone is saying that you know serving the needy isn't as important in our faith so I could hand them this Bible and say look at this look what our faith in our Bible would be without serving the needy and just something as proof I guess you could say and um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you I hope you can see this isn't my video camera I'm using this is actually my picture taking camera but I trust my camera and so I hope you can see um, I hope you can see the just about every other page and I'm skipping over a lot here is cut out just chunks and chunks cut out see just every few pages cut out I'm gonna skip through pretty much it's all just in the early Old Testament, there's places, I hope you can see this, um, that cut out. Here's some more. Here is where it starts to get bad in Job. It starts to really deal with a lot of it. Psalms, a lot, if you can see. Proverbs, even more. Um, Isaiah actually dealt with a lot, too. I'm going to skip ahead to, here is it. Matthew, if you can see this, Luke, the New Testament obviously deals a lot with helping the poor and the needy in our community. I want to show you something, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead, you can tell, here's James, this really impacted me, see this, this is James, this paragraph, this paragraph, and these little kind of snippet things. This right here starts Peter, so this page isn't James. All that's left of the entire book of James is this. That's how much James talks about helping the needy, and, you know, this is what's left of the Bible. This just tattered remains. Without us serving the poor in our community and around the world, this is what's left of our Bible. I hope you can see this. Um... I hope this impacts you. I hope this makes you think. I, I hope this helps you realize that us as Christians need to encourage our church to reach out more to our community, helping the poor and less fortunate in our community, and reaching out to third world countries and the poor all around the world in Africa and India and Asia, everywhere. We need to work on serving the needy and the lost. And so I hope you stay tuned. I'm going to be writing, um, not writing, I'm going to be posting some blogs vlogs about this and some blogs on my website if you would like to check it out www.emilytheperson.com and I'm going to be focusing on um, poverty and, and how we should be dealing with it whether or not you're a Christian
but specifically if you are, if you look how much God values us as Christians helping his children, um, I hope you stand with me and learn more about ways that you can serve in your community and around the world. And I would like to hear your opinion about what I've done to my poor Bible, um, about what I'm saying today, about what I'm going to be saying. Um, make a video response, comment, or send me a message. And um, I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.